<laughs> Hi, I'm Scott King, and I'm a professor in the Department of Geosciences at Virginia Tech. Um, I'm part of the Mars Insight mission team, and I'm talking to you today a little bit about designing your rover. My work uh, and my work with InSight, InSight is a lander mission, not a rover, but InSight had to um, deploy and move a seismometer from the spacecraft itself onto the ground and another instrument, the heat flow probe from the uh, spacecraft to the ground. So as you think about designing your spacecraft and you think about all the operations that you have to do in order to make the measurements that you're going to want to make, you're going to have to sit down and come up with a list of all of the actions that are going to have to happen on your rover and then make sure that you have all of the necessary pieces of equipment that can uh, do that operation that you want to do. If you want to be able to pick up a rock, you'll have to have an arm. And if you want to be able to take a sample, you may need to have a drill. So as you're thinking about your mission, you need to sort of break every task down into little steps. Hi, I'm Caleb Sellers. Hi, I'm Holly Clark. Hi, I'm Spencer Hanna, and we are the Virginia Campbell County 4-H team leaders. And we are here to introduce you to the Mars Base Camp Red Planet Odyssey activity. Now, let's start building. Now we're going to begin to build the rover. So we take all the parts out of here. It comes with everything you need except for batteries. Here's the instruction manual, which you can look at if you need help. but I'm going to take all the parts out so you can see what we have to work with. You know, wheels, axle, screwdriver, motor mount, motor, gears, and screws. So you're going to want to take your board here and put on the back axle and just set on one wheel just so it holds itself on there easily. You can use the back of the screwdriver to push it down if you need to. Then I'm going to take this big gear, the biggest one, and push it down so that the edge that sticks up a little bit there is facing towards the board. Like that. And see how there's not much room right there, so you're not going to be able to get the wheel to stay on there. You can pull this wheel out a little bit, which helps sometimes, also helps with reducing friction and slowing it down. Which actually, I'm going to take this wheel all the way off now that we have the gear on here so I can push it down better. I think that was too far. Now we can just push the wheel on there. Then we take the second biggest gear and the long screw and put the long screw through the back of it. And then you can tighten it down with the screwdriver. And once you get it so far, it should just easily push all the way through. Then you can, since the board has these convenient little holes, you can put the screw down in one of those holes and then continue to screw it down. And again, don't do it too tight. Do it so there's just a little tiny bit of space left. I'll show you what I mean as I get it tightened down. So till about right there so the gear has a little bit of movement. Everything can spin freely. Then you can put the 
other tire on there. And then to save time, I'm going to show you on the already built version. With the motor mount, you can put screws in each four of the holes and put it down on there, which for little hands that might be tough. So another thing you can do is you can take a piece of pipe cleaner and do the same thing like in the battery pack on this one. You just run it through the holes and then run it through the bottom and then twist it. And then your Mars Rover will be complete as soon as you slide the motor in and connect the wires in either side. Let your kids experiment with that as well. And that should be it. Now that we have built the rover, I know you want to get moving. Red Rover Part 2 will show you how to navigate and explore Mars.